What's up, everybody? Welcome to another installment of the Fantasy in Frames 2023 Dynasty Target Profile Series. And that's where we target those players to help you win now, as well as the future for those Dynasty Fantasy League championships. I'm Chris Burns, and you can find me on Twitter at Dynasty Deviant. Today, our target is locked in on Brandon Ayuk of the San Francisco 49ers, or as some Street Fighter fans might call him, Brandon Ayukin. If you know, you know. But before we get into his profile, please like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that bell also so that you're notified whenever new content drops. And then go follow Fantasy and Frames and Team on Twitter as well. Let us help you tackle all your fantasy football needs both in and out of season. All right, let's get into it. Ayuk is entering his fourth season with the San Francisco 49ers and had his fifth year option picked up this spring. Last year, he posted career numbers in receiving yardage, touchdowns, targets, and receptions. He's steadily improving both in the real NFL as well as on our fantasy football teams each year. That's something that you're looking for when you're building that deep and solid dynasty roster for that long-term success that we all want. And that long-term success brings championships. So you ask, what has he done for me lately? I'm so glad you asked that. I'll tell you. In 2022, Ayuk played in all 17 games, posting 78 receptions on 114 targets, totaling 1,015 yards and eight touchdowns. In half PPR scoring, he was posting 11.1 points per game. That's very solid production. He finished as the wide receiver 24 in half PPR scoring, giving you a solid return on your investment versus where you drafted him. But with everything, there are things that you need to pay attention to. And here are a few for Ayuk. Debo Samuel increased target volume could cap Ayuk's upside in 2023, especially in those half and full PPR leagues. The chemistry issues with Trey Lance last year could be a sign of things to come in 2023 if Lance happens to start any games. Sam Darnold, he's new to the team, so there's no consistency there. And Brock Purdy is coming off that elbow injury. A big question is if Ayuk is efficient with that decreased target share that we're expecting from Debo Samuel in 2023, and will that lead to a plateau in his production? While those concerns are not ideal, there's still a lot to be excited about. Regardless of coverage, whether man or zone, or the QB throwing the ball, in 2022, Ayuk impressed with the following metrics on his team. Number one in first read option and passing game. Number one in total receiving yards. Number one in points per game in zone or man coverage. Number one in NFL passer rating when targeted. And you've guessed it, number one in receiving yards per game. Ayuk has definitely been a consistent contributor for the 49ers in spite of the revolving pieces in and out of the lineup due to injury. That consistency, it adds to his fantasy value. The July DLF ADP for Ayuk listed him as the wide receiver 31 in startups and number 68 overall. His rookie pick value per DLF is around a 2023 mid to late round pick. But I'll tell you this, if I could acquire Ayuk for a 2023 second or later, I'm smashing except because he's proven to be a consistent receiver. He's proven to be consistent regardless of who the quarterback throwing the ball is. And I can rely on that more so than I can the rookies that are going in the second round. In startup drafts, some of the players that are going around him are Terry McLaurin, Jahan Dotson, Jahan Dotson, excuse me, Javante Williams, and George Kittle. If I'm picking in this range, I'm taking Ayuk ahead of Dotson and Kittle for sure. And it would be close with me with Javante Williams. It really just depends on Williams' health at the time of the draft and the roster construction that I have at that point in the draft. But if I make it that far in the draft and Ayuk is there, he'll be a great addition to any team, provided that you had a solid foundation that you've already rostered in the draft. Well, that's it for me, Chris Burns, a.k.a. Dynasty Deviant. Thanks for tuning in and leave a comment below with your thoughts on Ayuk. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Be sure to check out our content here on the channel, the Fantasy and Frames website, and Twitter. Give us a like, share, and follow if you're so inclined. Always, thanks for watching. 
And may your dynasty teams never, ever suffer that age apex cliff. Peace.